Let's talk about the 2011-2012 season. What turned out to be your final season? Just listen to these stats for a second, right, Joe? Obviously, club captain that season. 30 goals in the Premier League. PFA, Football Writers, Player of the Year. You'll like this one. 41 goals in 53 games for club and country. They're not bad numbers, are they? Unbelievable. You were so important to Arsenal. And at the end of that season, and this is a question that I know Arsenal fans have wanted to put to you since the day you walked out of the door here. Why did you leave? Yeah, I think you can compare it with uh, being married. You know, I think um, uh, me and my wife, Arsenal, were married for eight years. And then after eight years, my wife possibly got a bit tired of me. Um, those are the facts. Um, How did you know? No your, one. Your well, wife, I just, I just felt tired, that because if Arsenal is not offering you a, a new deal, um, uh, you can have along the way, you can have different views mm. about things. But the fact is, is that Arsenal never offered me a deal. So what do you do then? Then you um, have a look around, then you uh, check if you, because I was ambitious, I, mm. yeah, I still want to win the league. Then you look around and um, that is life, you know, and then, and then I uh, basically, um, then it ended up, uh, so I ended up having three options. Um, that one option abroad uh, disappeared quite shortly after that. Then it was City or, yeah, or Manchester United. So, um, but, but, but what people don't know during a transfer or during a marriage is that behind the scenes, loads of things are happening, loads of things uh, the, the fans don't get or they don't see. And mm. uh, you have to, you have to um, take a lot on. You have to um, yeah, make, a, make a choice based on uh, what your targets are. Uh, but as well, deal with the, the facts. And uh, one of the main uh, issues or facts was that um, possibly Arsenal got, got tired of me or whatever reason they had. But the fact was that that was the starting point, that they didn't offer me a new deal. So, just to be totally clear, at no point Arsenal came and said to you, Robin, you're our man, here's, another, no. here's an extension, here's another couple no. of years. And did, did you ever make it clear to the club what you wanted? Did you ever sit down yeah. with them? Explain that process. Well. Yeah, we, yeah, we had loads of chats. We had uh, chats with, with, with uh, Wenger, with uh, Gacidas, with, um, with, with, with my colleagues. That's like, a, that's like a long process building up to that moment of actually leaving. And... Um, yeah, during that process, we uh, both um, uh, we disagreed on a couple of things, which um, doesn't matter. That that happens in uh, yeah, marriage as well. Uh, but then uh, I just got the feeling that uh, we will not come together, you know. And then uh, that is the moment I had to uh, like, okay, um, so what are my options? And then I was uh, looking around because it was quite clear that uh, I was going towards the exit. Um, we, uh, it was clear that we were not going to find each other. Uh, so, so I looked around and then uh, towards the end of that process, I had two options with, with City and Manchester United. And Manchester United gave me the best feeling. So Alice gave me the best feeling. I really wanted to win. Um, and, uh, was that what I it really... was for you, winning the Premier League? Yeah, and, and, and a challenge as well. It was, it was a challenge and uh, that is what you go for. And you, and you look at the, the, the teams, you look at the coach, you look at... Uh, privately as well, you look at uh, where my family would live, where my kids go to school. So you take all these things uh, with you. And then uh, you, I, I just went on a feeling and, and I'm still standing by that. You know, that is, that is what I did. I think if you make a decision like that, you have to stand by it and um, uh, yeah, sort of enjoy it. And I, yeah, I think I did. I'm proud of both times. You know, I don't have a bad feeling towards Arsenal at all. You know, yeah, sometimes in life you can have differences. Well, you told me last night on the phone, this is a beautiful place and a beautiful club. So you're it obviously is. still a little bit in love with yeah. your ex-wife, huh? Well, I think you can call it that way, yes. Um, and, and as well, grateful for, yeah, for the chances Arsene gave me um, uh, just to play in, in, in the best league of, of the world. You know, it is, it is, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful and I'm proud of my time here, but I'm proud of my time in Manchester as well. I'm just thinking how must Alex Ferguson have felt when he would have got the phone call saying we might be able to take the best player from one of our rivals. I think that's what Robin's saying. I think that's a crucial point in Arsenal's history. When they decided to let their best player go to Manchester United mm. or Man City, it was like, you know, for me, that might have been a case where this club sort of gone, we're not, we can't compete with them at this moment. Because you, you, we've read the stats out at the start of the conversation. 
You right. can't take that out of a, a team and expect to compete. You know, so I think that that was probably one of the big reasons Arsenal are in the situation they're in now. You, you date decisions in football. They, they, they can come and hit you three, four, five, six, seven years down the line. And I think letting him go to Man United was the start of the, the, the decline for this club. And now they're at a stage where they're we're rebuilding it. But that's why it hurt the Arsenal fans so much, is because it was Manchester United. When, mm -hmm. when you made the decision to, to go to United, yeah. were, you, were, you, were you aware of the, of the feeling that there would be here? Yeah, of course I'm aware. Um, but in those situations, yeah, when it, when it comes to... A decision like that, then of course I get that, that the fans were not happy with me. And, and, I, and I stand by my choice to go. But they didn't really get the whole picture. Um, for example, this quite important fact is that Arsenal never offered me yeah. a deal. When you say your choice to go, the reality is you were not offered. This is a really important point, and we can see you here when, when you return for Manchester United and yeah. the, the returns went well for you in the end. Um, yeah. When you sat down with the club mm -hmm. and you laid out all of the things that you wanted to see at Arsenal, which mm -hmm. you believed would get them to win the Premier League title, which well, is what you said is important. What, 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 what but what I if, believed would uh, make us compete. And if they'd have said to you, OK, you know what, we buy into what you want at this club, we believe that this will make a difference, we'll do it, would you have signed a new deal with Arsenal? I would have definitely have a serious option with it and I would, I would definitely look at then the private side of, 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 of my family as well, because my wife was very happy, my kids were very young but happy, um, then, then I would have an option, then, yeah. then I would have a decision to make. But you had no decision to make. I had no decision to make, so I had to look further. Knowing all of that, and you've, you've held on to this for a long time, yeah. watching Arsenal fans who understandably don't know the full story, yes. how painful is that, that you had, you had such a great time here? Yeah. And, and it's not remembered by the fans as fondly as you would have. No, I, I, I do get how it works, but I don't... Um, uh, it, it is not that um, that I feel sorry for myself or whatever. People uh, gave me stick, but, yeah. but that, is, that comes with the job, you know, and uh, they, they, they do that based on their information and um, based on what they know or based on what they read. Mm. Uh, I've chosen not to talk about it for seven years now because... Yeah, you know, uh, I was always thinking, what's the point? Um, but now we are seven years later. Um, uh, I think time heals most yeah. things with the fans as well. Uh, yeah, I think it's good to tell them uh, facts, you know, of what happened then. And I think it's good to tell them that, that I don't hold any grudge towards Arsenal whatsoever. You know, I, have a, I had a fantastic time here. They looked after me and, I, and I'm proud of my time in, in England in general.